Okay, so let's take a look at the software that we're using with our uh, with our homebrew uh, SDR RTL setup here. Uh, this is HD SDR version 2.63 is what I have installed on my laptop currently. It's uh, available, at least it was available on the internet as a free download uh, a while back. There's some other packages out there, but and I've tried a couple of them, but this is the one that we're happiest with. It uh, has a waterfall display and a lot of the same features you find on some of the other free uh, or available SDR software that's been out there for a number of years. Uh, I've got it muted right now, but we're sitting on 40 meters and we can see by the waterfall there there's uh, a considerable number of strong stations. We'll listen to them in just a second. I wanted to point out just a couple of the features. Uh, we have uh, automatically pre-configured on here. The system comes with a lower sideband and an upper sideband. A choice here also CW which gives you a narrower bandwidth although the bandwidth can be uh, you can see right down here now we're running about 25 2600 uh, Hertz on uh, on a uh, single sideband and that is configurable we can go in narrower or, or out wider and you can configure an offset uh, to, to uh, compensate for whatever your uh, up converter frequency is and in my case remember we talked about we have a 125 megahertz up converter so for 40 meters uh, we just we put that uh, we can configure that up converter uh, up converter frequency uh, it's in the options section here I believe under uh, uh, RF and front end calibration as you can see down here we have 125 uh, megahertz set as the SDR uh, up converter uh, local oscillator frequency so the system will automatically calculate for us uh, so what we're showing in the display frequency wise up here along this bar is uh, the middle of the uh, 40 meter uh, single sideband uh, section of the band and uh, let's uh, all kinds of other features built in there's a uh, there's a uh, noise blankers at the IF and the RF level and there's a notch filter and AGC is selectable. It cycles through the three different choices here, of slow, fast, off, and medium. And uh, there's a mute button built into the panel here and uh, uh, just lots of features that make it a real pleasure to use uh, with our system. So let's uh, unmute this and we'll take a look at, uh, we got the mute on here, just listen to a couple of the stations. Yeah, all right, let's go pick out one of these strong guys here. See, S meter. Uh, Joe, we're here every day, seven days a week. Uh, been here for years and years, and uh, we get here every morning. A lot of 20 over nine uh, signals here. A lot of strong signals on. Let's take a look. Uh, we'll take a stroll down to the CW yeah, portion of the band. Yeah, like I haven't. I guess since last. All right, now we're down the uh, lower end of the band down here in the CW section. Let's switch to CW. Pre-configured bandwidths here and. Somebody calling CQ. K0 RKH. You can change the frequency in a number of ways. Uh, let's go up here and take a look. change the bandwidth down here manually <clears throat> we can change frequency in a number of ways we can do it right on the waterfall display by double clicking up here
We can change the pass band by holding down the control key down here and tapping down here on this part of the display. Go up a little bit. You can change the bandwidth. Outside the pass band there, we'll go back down here. Very flexible software, very powerful, and it seems to work well with our RTL SDR setup. So there we have it. We'll go back up to sideband just briefly here. If uh, <clears throat> go back up to lower sideband and uh, on the bandwidth, and then we'll uh, tab on up a couple of hundred kilohertz here. find somebody to finish off here. Running 20 over 9. Very strong. Mute this. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, very powerful software, uh, a fun system to work with, and uh, there's our little setup again. And the uh, total cost in building this uh, upconverter module with the SA612 was that, and the uh, oh, actually the uh, components for the bandpass filter and the components for the a uh, little uh, 20 dB broadband amplifier. Uh, if you have a decent junk box with your uh, odds and ends available to you, the total cost is probably about $25 for these parts new. So, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, software defined radio is kind of cool, and uh, it's another another way to investigate and enjoy uh, amateur radio.